Okay, so um, this is how we're going to be doing make, putting our zip together. So we'd already cut uh, two pieces of the lining. So that's two pieces of the lining we've got. And then we've got two pieces of the outer material. I've overlocked them. Um, and I've also <clears throat> folded them in half and did slits right in the middle of all of them. So you've got little snips done on the edges of um, the corners of the centre pieces of all your pieces centre. I've also done the same thing uh, on the zip. So I've just um, folded it in half and I've just um, put a marker on both sides just so that I know roughly where the centre is. Now this is a, a, a zipper foot. Uh, it's different so you your normal um, zip where it's got the edges. The zipper foot hasn't so it um, can get right close to your zip. So that's your normal one and that's your zipper one. So we'll put the zipper one on our machine, switch our machine on. And then what we need to do now is take one piece of the lining and one piece of the the actual material, put that aside for a minute. And then what you want to do is get your um, outer material and put it so that you've got the front facing up. Then what you need to do is get your zip and the zip um, is the right side up is the one that you've got your knobbly bits, uh, the holder of your zip. So that's your front. So with this front facing towards your material, so now you've got your two um, right sides facing each other, you need to put that at the bottom, get your um, centers lined up, put it across like so, and then get your um, lining. Now some lining might have a, a right way and wrong way, but this doesn't really matter. So again with your lining where you've um, made a mark on uh, your middle, your centre, have that sitting on top of your zip, get the centres, all three centres lined up. So in a, a way what we've done, we've done a sandwich. You've got your right side material facing your right side of your zip on top of it. Then you've got your lining on top of that. And what you want to do is then get um, pins and just pin them all down. So we'll start off with this um, middle bit. So you've got the centres all done up. Now you want to um, work all the way up and down and pin them all up. So let's do the pinning. So just pin all three together as you're going along. Um, you'll notice that the zip is shorter than my material. We're going to go ahead and stitch this uh, all the way across. Okay, so we will continue passing the zip and just finishing it off. We'll get our machine on. And like I said, I'm going to start passing the um, okay. So let's as you come in nearby then take up your pins there as you go now the only other thing now we need to do is open the zip up so that the bar isn't um, touching your as you're sewing it so just open it up a little bit first of all and then stitch away Once 
once you've um, stitched a little bit then you can leave your needle in lift your foot up and pull your zip back up right so now we've got the zip uh, loop right on top so it's not going to affect us as we're stitching put your um, foot down and carry on stitching to the middle bit So we've stitched all along, sandwiching our um, zip inside. So like I said, we had the material facing outwards, your zip, and then your arm um, lining. And now what we're going to do is turn them, open it up, and push this lining at the back. And then what you've got is exposed your zip on one side, like so. Then what you need to do, um, do the same on the other side. But before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and do a top stitch along there. Now I could have done it a bit more closer, but as this is going to be for a child, I didn't want that to be so close to the teeth of the zip so that they can open it quite easily. So now I'm just going to go ahead and um, do a top stitch. You can go ahead and iron it if you want or just pull it along as you're sewing in. So, there we go. Okay, just pulling the lining and the material out, straightening it as you're um, stitching it. Just open this up a bit to give us room. Just straighten it as you're stitching it. So we've just done a top stitch to flatten this bit. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same things, like the same thing that we've done this side. We're going to go ahead and do the same for the other half. So again, you need to have your zip facing upwards. Now the front, uh, the facing the right way up zip where you've got your uh, knobble bit needs to go facing down you need to turn it this way so you need to get again always start at the bottom so get your center bit lined and then get your lining again get to your center bit and line it up and one once you've done that then you get your pins and start pinning it down again so you've got that flat and then you've got your zip facing it and then you've got your lining so now go ahead and pin it all the way up up there and all the way down the bottom before we start sewing again. So now that we've done the pinning all the way down, we take it to our machine again and start sewing. 
going to start this side, I think. Open up your zip so that you've got a bit of uh, room to move first, and then we'll pull the zip back up afterwards. So here we go. As you come into your pins, pull them up, but now I've got them facing the other way around. <laughs> anyway. Once you've come to pass the zip, leave your needle in, lift up your foot and pull the zip top. Oops, it's a bit stuck, so I'm going to have to move the needle up to get it. Get stuck my zip. I've caught the um, lining underneath. Right, okay. So let's get the needle back in. Come to the centre. So now we've stitched both sides. We need to open it up now and just straighten it out. So you've got that's the back, and then you've got the front. And like before, where we've done a top stitch to flatten it, we need to do the same on this side. Now we're going to do a top stitch to flatten our zip down. Okay, so take it back to the machine. Like I said, if you want, if you're comfortable to um, go ahead and sew, uh, sorry, to um, iron it first, go ahead. As you're, um, if you're gonna go ahead and do it this way, just straighten it as, you, as you're going ahead. So continue um, doing the top stitch. So we're almost to the end now. And straighten it out as we go along. Pull in the back and the front tightly. Now when you get to a certain point, just pull your zip on, mind you. It didn't have any effect on it, that's fine. You can do it closer, but as it's a child, I wanted to do it a bit leaving room on the zip. ready to be sewn onto our bag and this is how you um, put the zips like I said as you can see I have left gap between the 
teeth and the material. The reason being is when it's a child, you don't want it too close. You want them to be able to open it up. And this is for a little girl rack sack. So there you are. How to put a zip on your zip panels. Continue watching. Thank you.